I have your own husband. Leave my own alone. Every time you come out from my husband's office, every time, what will happen? Your own mom give you enough supplement. Um, okay, seriously, I don't have time to trade words with a lunatic like you. Yeah, more lunatic. Try it. Take a step. I drag your wig. Try me. I the talk, some lunatic. Try it. Move. You have mind. Move it. And when you say, Drag your wig, drag your gown, drag your breast, drag everything and take it to my God in prayer. Try me. Nonsense. <coughs> Nam. No. What are you doing here? No, nah, I bring situation report. Where is my money? That man denied me. You. You're going to take your report back to your father's house. Huh? Hey, Nam, no, 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 I never reach like that. Hmm? Don't send me back. People will laugh at me. People will laugh. So you care about what everybody will say? And you could not put yourself together in your husband's house? Oh, my village people, they don't want me to get married. They don't want me to stay in husband's house. People know. That's fine. So you go back to your village people and you will continue the witchcraft that you're doing. No, I'm not a witch. Oh. I'm not a witch. Hey, because you are a witch. Hi, Since no. you came into my house, you have made life unbearable for me. I'm not a witch. You are a witch. You're going to go so I can have peace of mind. Yes? Sir, Mr. Salami is here for the foreign exchange. Oh, that's fine. Um, get friends up, please. Okay, sir. You can go. I have work to do. I'm big on you. Come in, please. <clears throat> you sent for me? Yes. How much dollars do you have? About two, three thousand, thereabout. Okay, that's an error. Um, please, I want you to meet with Mr. Silas for the foreign exchange. Let's get 1.4 million from the accountant and get the vehicle. The money you have with you, it's... Uh, my wife, my shack of a wife swallowed it. What? What did you do with... And I don't call my name. Get a corner. Put him out in husband and wife, Maka. Why? Oh, that's a lot of money. But Moses, you shouldn't have left that kind of amount of money for too long in your house. I forgot. I didn't know that I have a squander of a wife at home. But that's a lot of money for you to... I mean, what did you do with that amount of money? Nah, auntie, leave, leave, leave my name out of your mouth now. Don't you take your husband's money. Who fights you? No, I don't take my husband's money without his permission. And because you have your money now, tell him to give me money. I don't go touch your own again. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I work for my money, so I don't have to ask him. Nah, me too, no. It would actually look alike, but two of them are not the same. You shut up. Mm. Ah, just ignore her. You will not believe that this ebotic peacock of a wife exchanged three thousand dollars for only a thousand naira. What? Ekwi, Moses, whoever did this with her has to be arrested with immediate effect. Uh, she came back to tell me that the person denied knowing her or knowing any of that transaction. Ekwi. Well, by the time the person goes to the police custody, he must remember that's a lot of money. Bam. Let us arrest him. Let us shut up. One good thing that come out of your mouth. Did you die? Wow. Brenda, I really must thank you for encouraging me to go after the guy. If not, they would have gone away with all the money. Well, we thank God the police acted very fast and the guy didn't see the arrest coming. Else he would have run away. Okay. Hi. Hi, Blenda, thank you. God bless you. Because if not for you, I have on the road to village now. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Kree. Mm. At least, lesson learned. So next time, try not to touch your husband's money again without his permission. Okay? <laughs> next time, beg my husband not to hide money from me. Our two now one. My money now is money. He can spend my money anyhow he like. Me too. I can manage to spend this all anyhow I like, you know? Actually, Moses is not a stingy guy. He's still out. Kabuaka gum. 